comes with the lanyard. Some spare bearing cap. So here's what it looks like outside the box. We got Norfolk Southern 8095. It's my first ES44 AC. As you can see, they have high mounted headlights, so it's on the top rather than in the nose for this one. There's also like a reddish brownish color interior of the cab. You can kind of see it there. And here's what it looks like on the side. You can see there's a little ES44 AC writing right over there, if you can read it. Here's us take a look at the side of it. And this is actually painted that lightish gray color vent. Very nicely detailed. And it's supposed to right over there. That should be the E-bell, right? And we're going to go all the way to the back. There is a brake wheel on this side. And there's also this, like, chains here at the bottom. That's really nice. Kind of separated here in the middle, though. So here's what the back looks like. Norfolk Southern, they're known for having ditch lights in the back, also not just the front. And I also noticed this detail. They added this little white chain that connects the MU cable to the anti-climber. So I guess that's a new thing that they're doing because my other CSX locomotive that doesn't have it. Also notice, like, there's, like, this little paper clip shape thing here. <laughs> I've never seen that before. And to the side there's like these spare knuckle coupler holders. And here's what it looks like on the other side. Very well detailed. I think Scale Trains is probably like the best locomotive uh, manufacturer for model trains just in like detail wise. And also notice here on the side of the cab window there's like this additional metal piece. I don't know, is that like a secondary mirror? Because I already see one mirror here, so there maybe there's two of them. So here's what the roof looks like. There's a nice bumpy texture on top, just like it's on the walkways. And there's also this PTC antenna ray. Now, one thing I didn't realize when I've seen these, like pictures of these online, is that these aren't actually aligned. So this one's actually a little bit back than the other two. You can see there's some grab irons over here, right on top into the side. Go make our way to the back here. We got the horn and we got the exhaust stack. It's a nice silver color. And then we have the radiator. Now I think this is the part where it's like most iconic, how you can tell it's an ES44 AC versus the ET44 and the Dash 9 because this is like a huge box. So here it is side by side with my other GE locomotives, also by scale trains. We got the BNSF Dash 9 right over here and then the Norfolk Southern ES44 AC, and then this is actually my first model train ever, the CSX Tier 4 Jivo, the ET44. Now, if you're not into trains, you probably think they all look the same, and they kind of do, but there's actually a lot of, like, differences between them. So, this is actually, like, the oldest one in real life, and then this is the newest one in real life. So it's kind of like an evolution. <laughs> and these two are like GE Evolution series, so they're kind of like related closely. So one way you can tell the difference between the three is the radiator in the back. So you can see they're all like sort of different shapes. The Dash 9 is like really small. Uh, the Tier 4 Jeevo, it's like really, it's actually taller than the other locomotives. And then I have a big radiator. It's all like a triangle shape. And then the ES44 AC, they have like this box shape in the front of it. And I wanted to get Norfolk Southern this time just to complete my collection of like major class 1 railroads because these are all major railroads. Plus Norfolk Southern and CSX, they're actually on my home territory in New York. So I've seen these guys in real life. Not so much BNSF and Union Pacific. But anyways, let's go test this guy out.
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you want to get this model for yourself, they're still in stock at scaletrains.com. There's actually a second run with a different PTC antenna on top. I think it's probably the newer version, but this one's just the first run. Overall, I'm pretty satisfied with it, except one thing after I finished recording, I realized that the front grab iron, one of them is actually missing from the moment I unboxed it. So it was already gone. I didn't like mess around with it or anything, but I've contacted scale trains and hopefully they get a summer replacement. I don't know if anyone noticed it was missing. If you did, you have a really amazing eye because I didn't until after I was finished filming. Uh, but yeah, if you guys do want to see more videos like this, make sure you hit that like button, comment down below what you guys think, subscribe if you had already, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.